cachatita que viene bravo y aviéntame tu rebozo mi vida pa' capotearlo. Chula Torito te está mirando Toro, toro, toro Toro relajo Ya te estoy quitando Torito Lo alegre está It's the beginning of day two, and guess what? As soon as we walked out of our hotel, it's another demonstration protest, we think. We're not sure what it is, but there's some excitement just outside of our hotel. Look at this. Again, we don't know what they're protesting, or if it's even a protest, <laughs> but it's exciting. And what a beautiful place they have to protest. Look at this. I'm running out in the middle of traffic here. I think I better be careful. <laughs> I'm getting home there. Look out. <laughs> Donald is living on the edge. I almost got run over by the traffic here. Look, look at all this. <laughs> I got in just ahead of the traffic. We don't know what monument this is. We're just kind of wandering around aimlessly across Mexico City this morning. We might look it up a little later. <laughs> we'll put it in the caption below. <laughs> What's the monument? We don't know. But look at this. It's so gorgeous. This is a block from our hotel, the Marriott. There's the protesters. And as always, we wish them well. We hope they get what they want. We decided to linger just a few more moments at this monument that we don't know the name of. But look at this, it's just so pretty. It's the Christmas season, so look at the poinsettias. They're very beautiful. And there's so many of them. My beautiful esposa, my wife. And just look at the beauty of Ciudad de Mexico. We just had to linger here a few more moments. So you can see the beauty of this place. Oh, there's a big Sheraton hotel there. This is just a little detail, but we're so impressed how the cities, even in Spain, they wash the sidewalks every day. And here in Mexico City, they go a step farther. They're soaping the sidewalks, <laughs> scrubbing them. But everything's so clean, clean, clean. Yeah, come on through. We're so impressed with the trees in this city. They're really thick in many of the avenues. Look at this. It's so many trees that it's actually dark. The sun doesn't even come through, but it's very tranquil and beautiful. And it's even more trees that way, if you can see on the video without me getting run over by cars, walking down the middle of the street here. <laughs> but it's so many trees, it's actually dark. The sun can't get through. It's beautiful in the city. Look up here. The palm tree. We didn't expect so many trees in Mexico City. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll linger on this theme of trees everywhere in Mexico City. Look at this street here. I'm gonna walk down the middle of the street. The traffic's very light. I'll, I'll take a risk. 
walking down the middle of the street. I'm insane. This is Americano. But look at the trees. It's thick, thick. It's like a tunnel of green trees. <laughs> Oh, it's fun just walking aimlessly around Mexico City. There's life everywhere, and it's just early in the morning on a Saturday. It's just a little bit quiet. But here's some musicians, and they just stroll around. Isn't it fun just walking aimlessly around the streets on a Saturday morning? You never know what's going to happen. You see things like this, there's just life. There's life everywhere. You get out with the Mexican people. We're really enjoying our morning walk through Mexico City today. And we're so impressed with the trees. Look, this is like a jungle. We found a jungle. Yeah, look, look at this palm tree here. Yeah, just walk through. In the middle of Mexico City, it looks like a Brazilian rainforest. <laughs> well, here we are. What is this place? It is the most religious ground in all of Mexico. This is the Basilica of Guadalupe. And Guadalupe is the patron saint of Mexico. And in two days, there will be one million people here. Really, seriously, one million people from all over Mexico will flood this square. And here is the Our Lady of Guadalupe Church. And here is the Basilica here. Our Lady of Guadalupe. The patron saint of all of Mexico. This is new. We're finding that they're making ice cream here, gelato, by hand, the old-fashioned way. You have to crank and turn it, crank and turn it. <laughs> She's got strong arms to go all day long. But my wife, she saw the papaya. We're getting some papaya. But we need to get some gelato. We asked for 
we asked for a Chico, which is the small, and she kept putting scoop after scoop after. It's not that small. The Chico is not small. Chico. It's Chico. <laughs> our, our Spanish isn't good enough, but we think it's a, it's manzana, which is apple. What else? Coco. Coco, coconut. But uh, we don't know for sure. It's but so uh, you know, you're in Mexico. You got to try new things. But, but it's handmade. We we saw them make it right now. So we're going to eat. Yeah, we made a great discovery with the uh, the homemade ice cream and the fresh sliced papaya. Look how orange it is. Is it sweet? Don't say it's good. Yummy! In Mexico, it's Feliz Navidad. But we're sad to leave here because this place is so full of life everywhere you go. Here we are at the cafe and we look at this. The Mexican people are everywhere. And the weather is so gorgeous. Now the Socalo is just a half a block around the corner over there. But we're eating at the Quesa Quesadilla. <laughs> you like my Mexican Spanish accent. Quesadilla. And we have the flautas in a cup. <laughs> kind of interesting. The uh, cheese, the uh, Mexican queso, the cheese. In the bottom, it's full of the uh, verde green. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. I didn't know it was hot. It's very hot. It's muy caliente, very hot. <laughs> Did you feel it? It's boiling hot. That surprised me. And these they call uh, papas, but these are, they call them uh, papas uh, Francesca, Fran Fra Francesa, papas. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to learn my Spanish. Papas Francesa, French fries, basically potatoes. Papas. Very interesting, but they're fresh and very crispy. And as always, we get our sin azucar, which is. No sugar, and there's always a police guard. There he goes right there. The police are always everywhere. It makes us feel so safe. Honestly, I mean, they're everywhere. We just went to the, the Diego uh, murals, and we, we saw like uh, six guards just at the front door. <laughs> they were in full body armor. <laughs> the security is everywhere, and, and that's what makes this place so safe. Don't believe what you see on the American media. They say, oh, is it safe to go there? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, the American media don't believe it. Mexico City just seems like one of the safest places. They got so many security, policia, and the, the street cleaners are everywhere. There's two young senoritas with their brooms and they're cleaning the streets. We see them everywhere too. Anyway, have I gushed enough about Mexico City? We are absolutely in love with the place. Well, we're going to eat. Okay, ready? Manja, manja. Let's eat. Here, try one of the, the flauta. <laughs> you got the hot part. It's good. All right. <laughs> Muy bien. Lo mi totero, ahí va como borreguito chatita a su potrero. <tose> 